Well, hey there! Welcome to Mower Mike's Garage. Boy, I have got a special for everybody. This is going to apply to any lawnmower out there, user, borrower, leaser, there it is. What we're going to talk about today is how to get off a very, very, very stuck lawnmower blade. When you can't get that freaking bolt off the bottom to get that lawnmower blade out because she's bent, scraped up, needs to be sharp, and all sorts of reasons. And I'm going to make sure she is stuck on there tight because we're going to make it extra stuck. I'm going to use impact ah! after impact to get it on there super tight and then show you a few tricks I have up my sleeve on how to loosen her up. Now today we're going to add something into the video, a little something special. Because what I've got here is Johnny Cash live at Folsom Prison. So for your listening delight, we're going to go throw in some Johnny Cash and hopefully that will get thrown off YouTube. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you want to do, oh that's a good one, <laughs> is when you're messing underneath the lawnmower, especially with a blade that's turning, you don't want to hand start it and cut your freaking arm off because that'd be no bueno. So, in order to eliminate that, let's go ahead and take the spark plug out. Because what happens without a spark plug, means there's no spark, there's no bam, there's no spin of the blade. Very easy, simple uh, little safety thing here. All right, so we got the spark plug out. And uh, next, let's tilt her up and get underneath it. Now, when you get underneath the lawnmower, don't tilt it to the side right, don't tilt it to the side left. Because what's going to happen, you're going to have oil spill out, you have fuel spill out. The best way to tilt it is from the back end of it. So get her on all fours and just pull her up like so. Right there, right there. Oh, look at that. Easy, easy access. And then it's helpful to put something heavy or a large person on the other side. Or be like me and get a, uh, I got something to hold this sucker up. <laughs> so stick with me and uh, let's keep jamming. <laughs> all right, kids. Now let's have some freaking fun with one more bolts. The one it's held on with is a 9 16 bolt that goes straight to the crankshaft. That's what spins. A lot of times, these things can get very tight, mainly because somebody uses an impact wrench to put them on, which over tightens them and makes it very, very difficult for the next guy without an impact wrench to put them on. So, to prove my theories and show you my test, what we're going to do is I'm going to use multiple impact wrenches to get this sucker on as tight as crazy possible and then show you how to wrench it off just with your hands. You ready? Let's do it. So, Mower Mike's Garage, of course I've got some freaking awesome impact wrenches. We're going to start, start with a DeWalt XR Max XR20 brushless. This sucker's putting out about 700 straight foot-pounds of torque, so let's go ahead and torque her on. We're in full forward motion here, baby. Now go ahead and... <laughs> All right, that tightened her on. But... This is Mower Mike's Garage, of course, so we gotta go. Ah, ah. Let's go air power. Next up, we got the Nitro Cat 1200K. This sucker here puts 2,000 pounds of pressure. Add that plus by 700, you're over 2,000 pounds of pressure on this son of a bitch, so let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna put her on max forward to make it super tight. Now, hopefully, the bolt doesn't break that we make it so tight. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that bolt is tight. So, now if you're a normal person and you first want to un loosen up this bolt, what's your first thing you're going to do? Well, you grab a 916 wrench, use your hand, and then do lefty loosey. And see that sucker, it ain't coming out like that. Now, a lot of times your next step would be to shove a piece of wood through the grass chute on the side, and then it'll line up and it'll block it. But this one, as you see, is a mulching version. So it doesn't have the side chute, so you can't do that. So before we go to the stronger methods of getting this sucker off, we need to find a way to freeze this sucker up. And I've got the perfect trick. So to do that, we're gonna have to flip to the top side and grab a little piece of rope, and I'll show you what I'll do. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see, this old record's cracking me up. It's not the best country record, but I would say it could be the most iconic and the funniest. All right, so what are we going to do next? We're going to show you a trick on how to freeze up the crankshaft, which goes all the way through the motor, and that's what that bolt bolts up to. In order to freeze it, one of my viewers at one time gave me a little trick. And what we're going to do 
is take this piece of rope right here. Just get a little piece of rope. We're going to shove it in this spark hole, spark plug hole, and it's already off. Now, what we want to do, we want that piston to be at the very bottom. Because when it's at the bottom, we're going to shove this rope in there, and it's going to cinch up in there. And it's not going to hurt anything because it's a rope. And it's going to freeze up that motor and allow you to unbolt the bolt on the bottom. And then you can just pull it right back out. It's no big deal at all. In order to do it, you first want to start when that piston's at the bottom. Now, you can pull the pull rope do this. Or, like me, I've got a big old socket on the top, and we're just going to spin it. Look at this. You can see that? See, it goes in and out, in and out, in and out. So we're going to find it when it's at the bottom. Out. There you go. Now she's at the bottom. And then you just take this rope and just feed it in there. Just feed as much as you can up in there. That's quite a bit. <laughs> and then you just go ahead and pull that pull rope until she freezes up. Like, see right there? She's froze right there, baby. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get up underneath there. And now we've got a good sturdy base to put some real pressure on that freaking bolt and to get her undone. So stay with me. <laughs> All right, boys. Hope you're getting warmed up because old Johnny's getting warmed up. We got Orange Blossom Special coming down the tracks, baby. All right, we've got the lawnmower tilted up back underneath. We've got our choo-choo train here. <laughs> this is the rope. It's inside the motor, and when it's done, it's cinched up in that motor. It allows that piston to be stuck. Thus, this bolt is stuck. This whole crankshaft is not moving. That way, we can crank on it now and give her some freaking American power. Your first step, of course. You're going to take your 9 16 wrench and see if you can get that sucker off. Ah. And see, I do curls, but not enough for this. Not enough for 2,500 pounds of pressure on that thing. So what we do next, we're going to go past the limits of our hand tools. So it's going to get dangerous. So I suggest you wear goggles if you're going to try this out. And I am not saying this is safe at all. But, all right, let's say you got a 9 16 wrench. And that's not cutting it. But let's say you got another one. You got a one incher, or you got a big boy, like a one and a quarter, like this. What you can do is because you want more leverage on this. So make sure we wear some eye protection because this might break your little wussy wrench. Go like this. And what this is going to give you is another two foot of, of leverage. As you see, it, it about triples your power. As you come down every foot, it doubles your power, but it's just not gonna work for what we got going on here. The Nitro Cat put too much pressure on her. So, me and Johnny Cash, we're gonna put her to the ground. I'm gonna show you some old, uh, <laughs> old prison yard tactics. Let's do it. All right, gang, all that's failed. And we've got some issues here. This bolt is stuck. Let's say in theory, you're at the Huntsville State Prison. You're mowing out in front of the walls unit. You know, all those fields of grass. I go against 45, and all they do is give you this little 21 inch craftsman piece of junk lawnmower from the 80s. And you gotta change the blade. But, what if the last guy who changed it was like that guy in Green Mile, the big sucker, and your partner put that blade on there way, way too tight? Alright, so you're out there mowing. You find a 1985 three wheeler, thank God, you're able to prop it up. You watch Mower Mike on the, uh, <laughs> the, the computer, I guess they got him in prison. So you figure out the road trip. You got her figured out. And then you got her went rich. All right. And I got a big old 916 socket on there. You get her on there. Try to get some leverage. It just doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. All right. So you keep looking around the field. And you see out there in Huntsville, some one of those big old trucks threw off a big green pipe. Like, oh, buddy, we're excited now. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a lot of pressure on this thing. Now this here is a half inch. Make sure you got an impact socket on her. Put it on there. Put some eye protection on. And we're about to get nasty with this sucker. We're about to put a lot of pressure on her. And I hope this works or it's gonna break. One or the other. All right, here we go, baby. Come on, work for me, baby. Watch your hands, because the thing may come flying. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, it actually worked. Finally. I can see it just needs more pressure. See it popped. So, 
And there we go, she is off. Hot dang, it worked. We got her off, you see the blade. And we're heading to Jackson, baby. Now I'll tell you, most simplistic terms. You start with something small and you slowly reach your way out until you get more and more leverage on a tight bolt like that and eventually it'll crack or something's gonna break. But just keep putting more and more pressure on it. Watch your eyeballs and be very careful. And always use an impact socket when you put big pressure on something like this. And uh, anyways, I hope that helped. If you got that off, you could probably figure out how to put it back on. So stick around. Mower Mike will be back next week. Mower Mike out.